and today we're looking at an Oasis classic sad song. This is a great song, great one to get down on acoustic. I actually did a version of this about six years ago so I wanted to do sort of an updated version. Now if you do want the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern, as always I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page so there'll be a link to that in the comments, also a link in the description. And the way that that works, you just sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month and get access to not only the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern to this song, Pretty much everything I've done over the past 14 months or so since I set the patent thing up. And uh, there's some exclusive stuff up there as well that isn't currently on YouTube. And there's loads of riffs and uh, if you're into the scales and the technique lessons, a lot of those are up there as well. So what you're waiting for, hit the link and go and sign up. It'll be very much appreciated. Another thing that says, which will be very much appreciated, uh, thanks everyone who's subscribed. If you are subscribed, the third way you could help me out is hitting that little notification bell somewhere down there. And also, if you want to, please go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne Arguitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok, as you always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling without further ado. Let's get to it. Okay, so this song is in standard tuning, and the first chord that you're gonna need for the intro is gonna be an A minor seven. And we're gonna go from an A minor seven to a C chord, okay? Now I prefer to do the C, you don't have to, you can do a regular C, but I do the C with the G bass in. So that was that would be you take a regular C chord and we put the third finger on the third fret on the low E string, little pinky third fret on the A string. Okay, so we're going in between those two chords. So the A minor seven. going to do that three times and then we got this little sort of rundown so it does an A minor 7, a C slash D so all we do is take the second finger off, keep the first finger on the first fret on the B string, we're going to do sort of a, what's called a, a C add 9, it's basically like a C chord without the second finger on, we're going to do a C slash B, so that's keeping that first finger on and now my second finger is on the second fret on the A string and then we go back to the A minor 7, so we got Okay, so then we get into the verse, so the verse chords are going to be the A minor 7, an F major 7, and similar to what I did on the C, you take a regular F major 7 and add a C bass in. So uh, all that would be, regular F major 7, move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string, little pinky, 3rd fret on the D string underneath. Then we're going to take the 3rd and 4th finger off, keep fingers 1 and 2 where they are, and that's called a D7 sus 2. And the next two chords are going to be an E7. That's take a regular E chord, take the third finger off, and we're going to go to a G. Okay, so that's going to be the chords for the verse, so that sort of repeats. So I'll just sing that through so you can see how that gels together. So we got Sing a sad song in a lonely place. I try to put a word in me. It's been so long since I found the space. You better put Okay, 
so that's going to be a verse and the pre-chorus is going to be a C G A minor 7 to the F second time round I'm going to do a C G a D I'll show you a little embellishment on that D so now it's going from a D sus 2 back to a D D sus 4 and then back to a D you'll see how that works in a minute when I play that through uh, the second time round we're going to do a C the C slash B again so from the C all we do third finger off move the second finger up to the second fret on the A string keep the first finger where it is then we've got an A minor 7 uh, the F C G and then the D with the D sus 2 D D sus 4 back to the D again that's going to be a pre-chorus so I'll just play that through so you can see how that gels together so we got where we're living in this town the sun is coming up and it's going down but it's so just the same at the end of the day so D D sus 2 D sus 4 back to the D and we lie Nobody says it's wrong, so we don't ask why, cause it's all just the same at the end of the day. Throwing it. Okay, now the chorus chords are going to be the F to the C. That's going to go around three times, and I'm going to finish it with an E to an E7. So we've got throwing it all the way. Throwing it all. Go back to the instrumental, the intro. Okay, so then we got another verse, another pre chorus, and the chorus again. And the only difference is uh, with the last chorus, you're going to keep going around the same chords, you know, that sort of repeat. So, so that carries on going from the F to the C. So that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. Now I tend to mix it up a little bit as I go along, but a good guide pattern, which would be down, down, up, down, up, down, up, which tends to work on most of the chords. But for the intro, we've got down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the down, up, down, up on that last, you know, few strums goes to that C chord. So we've got a down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. on through the verse we got down, 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 down. so that carries on into the verse so the a minor seven the f the d7 sus2 and we got the so down, 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 down. so you get the idea you know the basic pattern is down down up down up down up. but on some of those quick changes we sort of change, you know, like as in the intro again. You know, you'd sort of half that strumming pattern and the last, you know, on the C. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's a down, up, down, up on that C. And that's pretty much all you're going to need. 
Okay, so thanks very much for watching out here, old Doug. That you can't beat a bit of classic vintage Oasis. You know, that is an amazing song, which was actually like a bonus track on the vinyl version of the Definitely Maybe album, but somehow it's found its way into the live shows and things, and uh, it's just a great song, great one to get down on an acoustic guitar. Now, if you've got any requests for any other Oasis, Liam, Noel tunes, there isn't many I haven't done. There is a lot more of the solo material I could do, so if you have got any requests, um, the easiest way to put a request in is comment in the comments below or if you want to find me a personal message over through those social media platforms I suggested at the start of the video you're very welcome to I just always point out you know I do get quite a lot of requests and I do have to sort of hemp at them a little bit but don't let that put you off please do keep your requests coming it doesn't have to be just for anything Oasis related it can be anything you know 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar so uh, what are you waiting for get your requests in uh, thanks everyone who subscribed I'll quickly mention it again if you are subscribed the further way you could help me out is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there so you get notified every time I post a video up the patron thing sorry to keep banging on about it but the funding from that really helps me out you know it's a lot of time and effort that goes into filming these lessons the filming the editing the research so it's just a way of you guys giving a little bit of something back and it doesn't have to be a lot of money you know as little as a couple of quid and you're going to get access to all the chords lyrics and strumming patterns you know to the lion's share of lessons that are doing you can print those off i always think it works really well i can't you know sort of operate without having the lyrics in front of me i'm terrible at remembering words and the chords as well and the strumming patterns so like i say you get access to all that so uh, there's a link in the comments and in the description so go over and check that out uh, another thing, word of mouth is a powerful thing I always say, so if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar, please point them in my direction. And that just leads me to say whatever time of day it is you're watching, whether it be morning, day, night, thank you very much and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.